Hello beautiful people of the internet and welcome back to another video on my channel and today I'm gonna be changing the heater core in this nugget. So as you can see this is the heater core here and it is leaking and it's been leaking and uh, leaking onto the floor in here. So I've actually got it looped here um, so obviously no coolant can go in there and it's actually been like that for probably two and a half years. Um, I don't drive this car all that often so I haven't really bothered about replacing the heater core but now I am driving it a lot more I'm going to fix the heater core. So I've already started pulling things apart here I've got the seats out um, and I've also got the little glove box up <clears throat> the little glove box from there out the glove box from here out and then also in this spot here goes the aircon evaporator which also the aircon wasn't working and it had a leak so I can show you that as well so this is the aircon evaporator which lives in this box here um, so these come through the firewall and um, <clears throat> basically I uh, pressure tested it and I could see some butt wall. This actually, this rubber bit lives up here, same as this one, and put soapy water on it and we could see bubbles coming out from underneath this. So I've stripped this back and uh, I'll just give you a demonstration of what I did to pressure test this to find out where it was leaking from. So what I'm doing is I'm putting air in through this, hole, uh, this pipe here and uh, I've got this end capped off so it pressurizes the system and then I'm going to spray a bit of soapy water on here and we'll be able to see the bubbles come up. So as you saw the bubbles come um, out of here so there's actually a crack through here so I've got a new pipe for this. So yeah, got a new pipe from uh, Toyota and I got O-rings to go with it. So that's gonna be good to have aircon back as well as heating back. So I've never done this job before, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, pretty sure I have to pull the whole dash out. So yeah, can't really uh, give you a step-by-step -step guide. I'm just gonna have to wing it, do it, and then show you what I've done. Okay, so obviously the first thing I did was um, pull out the two glove boxes and then I removed the um, evaporator box. So the two pipes from the evaporator box come through this hole here and they connect to these pipes. I've just got them taped off for now so it doesn't get any dirt or moisture in them. Second thing I've done is I've removed that panel from under here. There's one bolt, screw, 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 then there's this cable here that clips out and then there's the um, the throttle up cable here it's just got this little thing here you just push in a if it focuses that hole in there you just push in a tiny screwdriver and then it pushes on um, the tab on on this and then you can just pop this off then you get a 14 mil socket and then you undo this nut off of here and then it slides out of the panel. So the next thing I did was pulled that uh, panel off from around the stereo and heater controls. There was one plug there that went on the hazard light switch and then one plug here that went on the um, cigarette lighter plug and there was one screw under here holding it in. So the next thing I did was pull that panel out from down here. Now there's meant to be a clip here and then clip on the other side. Mine didn't have that. Next thing I did was pull the stereo out. That's gonna be different for everybody depending what stereo you have in there. Next, I pulled out the dash surround and basically there's one screw here, one screw here, and there was one screw over here. Next, I just removed this duct that goes up in here and basically you just pop it off. Then I removed this bracket from in here. There's just one bolt that goes through here one bolt that goes in here um, and then there's a couple of um, wiring looms that are clipped into there and also the same on the other side. Then I remove this duct um, off of here. It kind of goes over the top of this and goes onto that. Then I removed this duct 
that's in here. There's one screw that holds it in and I slid it out through this way and then out through this hole. So the next thing I took off was this. Um, it goes in this area here and it's held in with a screw here and a screw down here. And then there's a little thing down here that, uh, let's see if I can get in there. This here pushes into here, this hole here. And uh, these clips here, one, two, they clip on to the heater box down here. One there and one there. Next thing I did was remove that loop toes there. So when the heater box is ready to come out, it can be pushed through the firewall. All right, it got the heater box out. There's uh, three, well, there's a couple of bolts and one nut holding it in. So there's one nut up here, and then there's two bolts, one down this side and one down that side there. So I've just marked with yellow texture on these so I know the orientation of the pipes so they can go back in the same spot once I put the new heater core in. If you're doing this job and wondering, um, I did leave all the cables connected to the box and the box just took a little bit of finessing to get out from there. Uh, you just got to go kind of like wiggle it around bit by bit, just sort of navigate your way around all the, um, all the shit that's inside there, but it can be done. All right, got the hoses disconnected. Now it's time to slip out the heater core. All right, so I've given everything a bit of a clean up, a bit of a blowout with air. Um, got my new heater core that I'm gonna slip in and new O-rings for the pipes. So I'm gonna put all that in now. New heater cores in, new O-rings. These pipes are back in place. Now it's time to shuffle this thing back into the hole. That actually went in much easier than it fucking came out. So happy with that. So basically, yeah, it's uh, one nut up here, one bolt here, and then another bolt in here. So I've gone ahead and given this uh, mechanism all a bit of a spray up with some silicon spray, just to get it uh, nice and lubed up and moving freely. Now time to put all the pieces back in. So starting with this bit, what I'm doing is I'm just giving a bit of a blow off with the air blower before I chuck it all back together. All right, got that bit in. So yep, there is one screw there, one screw there, and then over here, it clips on here. And then also behind this, there's a couple of clips in there. And also it, uh, has a little tab that clips on to that there. And you can see it moving right now. Not in focus, but it's moving. Now this vent goes back in here. And remember, it goes in through this bit here and then slides across here. And it attaches with one screw just in the middle there. Now these metal plates go back in. Got those two metal brackets in. So one bolt down here one bolt up here and on this side one bolt down here and one bolt up here when you're pulling it apart make sure you take a photo of where all these Y's clip in because it took me a little bit to figure out because I did not take a photo in next goes this little vent so that goes up in there like that now in goes this vent so that clips on one end there and then goes up there and then clips on to that one there. Just had a thought, I should probably run it up, get the coolant going through there, and uh, make sure that it doesn't leak before I go any further and put everything back together to find out that it does leak. Fingers crossed that it does not leak. So got my new heater hoses on there. Um, if you haven't seen the, la the last video, I just put a new radiator in it with all new hoses, all new radiator hoses. So I've got some new ones for this as well. Um, now time to start it up and fill the coolant up, get it flowing through the heater core. So 
got it run up up to temperature and she seems to be all good no leaks from the o-rings in there so time to put it all back together next piece of the puzzle is this uh, dashboard thingy cover I don't know so with this we've got one screw there one screw there and one screw there and then you just have to make sure that you line up the vents with this vent tube here next thing to go in is the radio I won't show you that because everyone's radio is different once I've done that I'll be chucking this in and then I'll be chucking in the radio surround right it got the stereo in got uh, this little surround on and then also this surround in so this one here clips in and has some buttons here or some clips here which I don't have and then this one clips in around here around here and then there's one screw in there now time to put uh, this surround on under there so got this back in so pretty much it just clips in around here clips in here clips back in here clips in here then it's got a screw down there screw here and then it's got a screw here and then one 10 mil bolt there and then also don't forget to put on your bonnet cable and your throttle control cable now all this side of it's done now i can go ahead and start playing with the evaporator so with the evaporator like i said at the start i'm going to change that pipe but i'm also going to replace the tx valve and obviously give this all a good clean because that's filthy and inside the housing is filthy also Alrighty, so got my new TX valve on there, got my new pipe on there, and now I'm just putting it in the box, and then gonna put the other half on, button it all up, and then I can whack it back in the car. Alrighty, she's all buttoned up, ready to go back in. Just gotta make sure that I can get that drain hose on the bottom here, and that these stick um, through the firewall there. Alrighty, so the evaporator box is back in. Two plugs, one here, one here, and it's got four bolts, one there, one there, one there, and one there. So this next bit, basically, I already pulled it apart, so you didn't see how I pulled it apart on the video, and if you're wondering how to do it, just follow this, but in reverse, if that makes sense. Now I could put this vent in up into this area here. So that just clips into here, into here, and it has one screw up under here. Now this glove box goes in up here. So it kind of just clips into place here, and then it has two bolts that hold it in place, one there and one there. Now we can put this cover up underneath here. Just got to make sure that we clip our electrical um, harnesses into their spots here so it's got one bolt here and then it's got one screw here and then one screw here now in goes this plate along here so it's just fixed in with two screws one here and one here now it's time to put the last glove box in so it kind of has some hooks that clip over this thing and then it's just got one screw there and one screw there that holds it in place now I've got the evaporator box in, I can go ahead and connect the lines. Alrighty, now time to whack the seats back in her. So there we have it guys, she's all done. Um, just need to get the aircon regassed. Not going to do that in this video. Um, but yeah, that's it. Heater core replaced, aircon tube fixed. Um, looking forward to having some heater and aircon back in this truck. Um, so if you like the video guys, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you're new around here, please consider subscribing. Um, I do all kind of custom stuff, uh, working on cars, woodwork, whatever it is. I just love to build it. So yeah, stay around and stay tuned for more content. Have a good day. We're